Welcome back Guardians. Today I want to speak about Varix and the Nine. Specifically the cutscene where the Emissary of the Nine talks about three beings who have transcended their design. One of those beings or one of those people is the Drifter, but the other two are not named and they're only hinted at. Just to remind you of what that cutscene says, I'll play it now. Only two others have transcended their design. The first, an hourglass, counting down with infinite patience. The second, a forgotten blade, sharpened anew. And now, the dredgen. Visit us again. We wish for you to understand what we understand. So I want to talk about how the forgotten blade sharpened anew might actually be a reference to Varix. Now, I got this idea from Anon Pig. I highly recommend that you follow Anon Pig on Twitter. He is the person that I refer to for law advice. If I need something clarified, I often ask Anon Pig. He also has um, a really helpful thread on his Twitter page, which will help you obtain the Chronicler title and this is an ongoing thread that he continues to update so if you're chasing that title too another good reason to follow a non pig but he was actually the one to bring it to my attention that there is an entry in Varix's law book the most loyal that may actually give a clue that Varix is in fact this person that the nine or the emissary of the nine are referring to and the last thing I want to say before starting is memberships are also available on my YouTube channel. All you have to do is press the join button and members gain access to um, unlisted live streams. So if you've been missing the live streams and want to look at them at your own leisure, uh, you'll get access to the live streams through membership. You also get badges. You also get emotes to use in the live streams. And I also send you the audio only versions of the YouTube videos. And the way that you access your membership rewards is you just click on the community tab on my homepage and there will be uh, members only posts. So you can uh, go through the community tab and look for the members only posts and you'll be able to see your rewards. So this is a live stream from yesterday and this is an audio only version from the last video. And with that, I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is that when I initially covered this topic, I mentioned that the Forgotten Blade sharpened anew could be Skullless. And one of the reasons why I mentioned that was because Skullless did actually meet the Nine. Uh, the Queen sent Skullless to the Nine, and the Nine sent Skullless back or sent Skullless free. So there was somewhat of a connection there. After reading the dust law book uh, a lot more I, I really don't think scholars is a viable option for the forgotten blade sharpened anew and the main thing is that there's this, this section here where scholars talks about how the queen has been the only one to really communicate with the nine and that scholars is a pawn in this game and so he's not really a player and he's not really um, part of this higher level game so i, I don't think that scholars is the Forgotten Blade anew, and this is a section that I'm speaking about here. Um, I do not comprehend them either. I traveled among the Jovians for years in their dominion, but I do not know the Nine. You, Marasolve, you are the only one who bargains with them. You are the only one who has foreseen their role in the game. You keep your successes secret, so the world only knows your mistakes. No wonder I underestimated you. He hefts the Scorch Cannon his jailers have given him. Lavinia thinks of the tools his house once favoured. Shuttle and loom. I saw the shape of the Nine on Venus, a place that was once precious to them, where wishes could transfigure their flesh. I saw that they are bound to the star and to these worlds. You are of a kind in that way. You and the Nine, not I. I will be glad to leave this world, Marasov. I am tired of being a pawn. So I just wanted to cover that first because I don't, I'm definitely moving away from Skolas being the sharpened blade anew. So the way that we sort of craft this theory and end up on Varix maybe being the forgotten blade is to search for the word anew 
in ishtarcollective.net and this will bring up all the law entries that use this word. Uh, and the four main law entries at the top here are Relentless, Scales, um, Shade Gauntlands and Unknown Space. Relentless and Scales and Unknown Space are all entries that refer to the nine. Uh, the Shade Gauntlands are actually about callous and that's interesting in itself because it also mentions dust and it also mentions becoming anew. But for the moment, let's just focus on these entries. So if you have a look at Relentless, this is actually the um, weapon you get from Trials of the Nine. And this is a conversation between the Emissary of the Nine and the Nine. And so it reads, Do you hear us? You wanted power. It is not for you. We have a task for you. Find the worthy. Bring them. Three keys. Three are required. Show them. Emphasize it. Everything dies. They are no exception. We're immortals, they'll say. Correct. And yet who dies more than they do? None. Only when they accept this can they be born anew, be relentless. So they're talking about guardians, obviously, and they are saying that there are three keys required to be born anew. And this becomes really important later on. Now, I had been sitting on some information about the nine for over a year now when Trials of the Nine was around and I had recorded everything that the Emissary of the Nine says to you when you actually visit the Third Spire in Unknown Space. And from memory, thank you to uh, Sassy, I think he carried me there to, <laughs> to the uh, Third Spire or, um, or he just recorded this footage for me, I can't quite remember now, but I transcribed everything that the Emissary says. When you first approach her on the first tier, this is what she actually says to you. Welcome. You think you found this place. It wants to be found. There are many like me, and so this place serves myriad purposes. One is judgment in all its connotation, the weight of it as a weapon. Another is death, inevitable, relentless. The third is perfection, flawless destruction. Three keys to unlock irrevocable change. Welcome, Guardian, to the place where everything dies and begins anew. So here we actually have the three keys named. Uh, judgment, which becomes important later on. Um, death or relentless, pr probably death. And the third is perfection. So to be judged, to die. And when I think about perfection, I think about being reborn, uh, begins anew. And this is in the third spire of the unknown space. So this is sort of building up to better understanding this word anew. And so if we could move on to the next, the next entry, uh, scales, we also have this idea of someone being sort of reborn again. And this is from the book uh, Ectasis. And this is about Orin, who actually becomes the emissary. And so it reads, she goes beyond the heliopause. It's a long walk, a sudden death. So she has death, the second key. She sheds herself, you might interpret that as becoming perfected, and emerges anew in the glimmering scales of her old lives. An immigrant, a translator, an emissary, a hammer of judgment. They expect, they expect to claim her will, but she clenches it a little tighter. Her gifts can end wars. So we have this idea of basically being reborn again, and this is the emissary being reborn again, uh, emerging anew. And it looks like she's gone through some of the keys that the nine talk about. The judgment, the death, and the perfection. So the other entry that mentions the word anew is unknown space. And it comes from the law book, Most Loyal. So we know that the unknown space is the place where you're born anew. That's what the emissary speaks about. And... Let me just read to you what, what this says. This is about Varix. Varix felt cold unlike he had ever known. Unbidden, memories rushed past him. All he could do was hang on as the last days of the elixir played out in his mind. He and his fellow scribes passing judgment in their soft furred robes. Then the whirlwind, the elders torn apart, the pillaging of the house. Varix, kneeling before a window, staring up at the great machine. 
watching it vanish. Long journey in the darkness. His flight to run with the wolves, his pleas to Skullis, the pact with Fickrell to serve Kallax Prime and secret it away. The Prime vanishing and again Fickrell on the horizon preparing to give the Fallen what they so rightly deserve. There is only one path left for you here, in a place where everything dies and begins anew. With that, a new power burned, affording him the strength to rise again, judgment cast. The screaming pulse of the prison alarms stirred Varric's awake. On the comms he heard Petra's voice, Cade had returned. So this is Varric's reflecting on the tragic history of the Elixni of the Fallen People, um, how they were aligned with the Traveller, the whirlwind came, they fell to infighting, they fell to hate, and their whole culture and everything was destroyed. But he is actually speaking with the Nine. Um, he And it's described as almost a dream because he awakes from it at the end. But you'll see that there's lots of words here that are very similar to what we heard before. So he's in a place where everything dies and begins anew, which is the unknown space. And also, um, with that, a new power burned. So he's gained something from this, affording him the strength to rise again, judgment cast. This was the first key of the nine, to pass judgment. So this very much seems like uh, Varix has connected with the nine and they have deemed him worthy or they have he has been judged worthy. Judgment has been cast upon Varix, giving him new powers. Now, this sort of comes to the pinnacle of Varix's story which is that he wants to be the new Kel of the Fallen and lead them to um, victory in their previous tradition. It is really interesting that the way that Varix has this encounter with the Nine is it seems like a dream. Varix wakes up from it um, at the end. Now, this is not really unusual because Orin, the emissary of the Nine, has a very similar experience. So if you have a look at... Um, Synthesia uh, from Ectasis book. Before Orin becomes an emissary of the Nine, she has a waking hallucination. Orin begins to experience waking hallucinations. Immaterial strangers speak to her in unrecognizable languages. So what happened to Orin, who then became the emissary of the Nine, could have also happened to Varix. Um, and maybe this is what this is hinting at with this dream, this waking hallucination. Regardless, really interesting that Varix is described as beginning anew. Judgment is cast upon him. And if you think about Varix and his whole story, him as a character, you know, he then has the, the, the book uh, Where Loyalty Lies, the very last entry is basically Varix um, freeing the prisoners from the prison of elders, including Aldrin, um, and basically saying that he's gonna, going to be the next Kel of Kells. So it reads, As he walked, he made two recordings to be sent out by the prison's relays once he was away. For the first, he disabled his voice synth and began, in the deep resonance of high speak, to give commands. He didn't know how many would answer judgment's call, but he had to try. For the second, he turned his voice synth back on. They call me Betrayer, I who was most loyal. They do not think I hear the words, bug, insect. He paused, fallen. Up long strides, fast now, along the ramp, into the ship. Toward the bridge, a vandal and wolf colours saluted him as he passed. I hear the words, house of judgement always hears. No choice. To keep the houses together, he paused again. As he reached the bridge of his ship, judgment always hears. The great machine stood in judgment. Elixni fell to fighting, fell to hate. Emotion caught in his voice, cannot stomach this hate. As he spoke, the ship's engines rumbled to life. On the screens, Varix could see explosions resonating through the prison. His former charges running rampant. His ship passed through the bay's barrier and began to move off. Nowhere else to go. No one else to be here. He drew himself up to his full height 
And so I become Varix, the Kel, house judgment envoy to the Elixni people. No choice, he repeated, chuckling deep in his throat. His voice was calm. Elixni must rise, yes. So the question is, is the forgotten blade anew really um, talking about Varix and that he will return? He has passed judgment. He has died somehow. It'd be interesting to see if there becomes some lore about Varix dying and then being reborn perfected. And if there's anything that takes place after he left the prison of elders that he experiences death somehow and has been reborn perfected. And then he leads the Elixni as his perfected being. Really cool. I, I hope there is something like this because it, could be a really cool setup for Varix, and he is definitely one of my favorite characters. Um, so I'm really hoping that he returns in the future of Destiny. And I think we're on the right track with the Forgotten Blade anew. And with that, I think that will end this latest Destiny 2 Allure episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, let's leave the phrase most, most loyal. <laughs> to represent that Varix is in fact the forgotten blade anew. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlon Games. Peace.